A parade of festivities. You see celebrating homecoming weekend as thousands packed into Nippert Stadium for the home game against Southern Methodist University. That game, of course, providing an opportunity for some graduates to see some long lost faces. Not in your sides, Jake Ryle talked with several alumni who saw well, a homecoming game all the way back in 1960. Well, the final score up here on the scoreboard, not in UC's favor, but do keep in mind this is homecoming, and for some it provided an opportunity for a reunion 50 years in the making. Sorority and frats floats. It's always a fun time with all of your friends together and when the alum comes as well. UC alumni returning to a place they once called home. Well, it's not near as large as it used to be. Uh, we made very large floats in those days, huge floats. Every for, They didn't combine usually. To Rich Foley, UC has special meaning. We had a volleyball game with the Alpha Kais in, this, in the gym there, and that's where we met. Playing so, volleyball. Playing volleyball. Rich and his wife Marlene graduated and were married the next day. We try to come back about every year. We live in Dayton and we we're down Dayton. for a lot so of functions. It's easy for us to come out. The parade gave way to a setting sun a Bearcat football game under the lights. We too didn't watch the game too much, did we? we <laughs> the second half, we, yeah, we caught up. Talk. Pidge and Bob Osborne soaking in their first homecoming game since 1960, all the while reminiscing to their days on campus. In 58, the Alpha Kai's won the float yes, that year. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> See, they Times <laughs> certainly have changed. When Marlene started at UC in 1956, her first semester's tuition cost 90 bucks. And then the second semester was $120. I thought, where am I going to get 30 more dollars? <laughs> Cincinnati is a, uh, is a well-kept secret in many places. If you look at the, the people who have graduated from Cincinnati and gone on to very prominent positions all across the country. Win or lose, alumni still proud of their alma mater. UC did a much better job than some previous games. Just too bad they lost, but they played well. UC brought these two couples together 57 years ago. Tonight, another memory made. Now I had a chance to ask that group where they're going to be next year for homecoming. They said they will be right back here at Nippert Stadium. For now, reporting at Nippert Stadium, Jake Ryle 9 on your side.